Hello friends, I hope that you all haven't seen my previous lecture based on Ruby laser, which is a solid state laser and enjoyed that. In continuation to solid state laser systems, today we will be discussing NDARG laser system, which is also a solid state laser system. And uh, these are the main topics that we will be covering in this lecture. Basically, we will discuss the construction and working of the NDARG laser, followed by some of the advantages, disadvantages and application of the same. So this is a solid state laser and is a four level system. Ruby laser is a three level system. And uh, this laser is developed by Sir Gusek Marcos and uh, Wittert in 1964. In this uh, system, in this laser system, laser system, the active medium is made up of ND doped YAG, which is in the form of cylindrical rod. Here, some of the yttrium ions are replaced by neodymium ions. Here, ND stands for, is, and stands for uh, Neodymium, which is a rare earth element, and the YAG stands for yttrium aluminium garnet. This is the chemical formula of YAG. And uh, the same pumping scheme that we have used in the Ruby laser is used for uh, pumping here, and which is the optical pumping. And uh, xenon or krypton flash lamp is used as a pumping source. The optical resonator is made up of two mirrors one is partially reflecting, and uh, another one is fully reflecting and these mirrors are coated on the rod uh, rod uh, sides because the rod is in a cylindrical shape and the ends are flat and parallel so they are coated with mirrors but the this mirror and the flesh are enclosed in an ellipsoidal reflector with uh, the rod at one this is the ellipsoidal re reflector and this rod is placed at one of the foci and this uh, flesh tube is placed at another focal point of the ellipsoidal reflector and this is um, important to make sure that the entire flash radiation is to be focused on this laser rod and this uh, whole system is connected with the power supply and because of the heat generated the some uh, water cooling system is also there and this is the energy level diagram for uh, the NDR laser this is this E0 is the ground state this E3 and E4 forms the absorption band of the neodymium ion and uh, this is the metal stable state and this is the first excited state so e0 e1 e2 and this state these are making the four level laser system so when flash lamp is switched on the optical pumping excites the electrons in the nd3 plus ions and forms the ground from the ground state to the excited state by the absorption of radiation of wavelength 0 0.80 micron and 0.73 micron and when they uh, got excited in this level and since this level is a short-lived state which has a lifetime of approximately 10 to power minus 8 seconds they make transitions to the metal stable state by losing their energy and this this transition transitions are basically the non radiative transitions and once they arrive at e2 state and since e2 is a metal stable state it has a longer lifetime which is approximately 10 to power minus 3 seconds so this electrons stay in this state for longer time and since the pumping continues the excitation of the electrons from the ground state to the higher excited state continues so the population inversion is achieved at the metal stable state and the transitions from the E2 level to the even level is a stimulated process. And during this process, an stimulated photon is generated, which has a wavelength of 1.06 micron. The photons that are traveling parallel to the resonator axis, that is the paraaxial photons, they experience multiple reflections here. They, they experience multiple reflections at the mirror and as a result the transitions from e2 level to even level are very intense and coherent and we get a pulsed output in the ruby laser also we get a pulsed output and in this laser we can obtain both the continuous as well as as well as pulsed out uh, sorry we can get pulsed output 
and these are some of the advantages and disadvantage of NDR laser. In um, this laser, the energy output is quite high and it has a very high repetition rate of operation. And it is much easier to achieve population inversion in this laser system. However, the ND ion has a very complicated electronic energy level structure. So the working is quite a little bit complicated. So these are some of the applications. It uh, is uh, mainly used for range finders and illuminators, and it is also used for medical surgeries. And since the intensity is quite high, so this laser is widely used for welding, drilling, cutting kind of applications. Apart from this, various light matter interaction studies like nonlinear optics or harmonic generations are studied using this technique. So in summary, this is a solid state laser with, and a four level laser system. The active medium is made up of ND ion doped in YAG and active centers are ND3 plus ions. The optical pump method that we use, uh, the pumping method that we use is optical pumping and the pumping source are xenon or krypton flash lamp. Optical resonator is made up of the mirrors which are polished at the two ends of the ND arc rod and this rod is placed in an elliptical reflector at one of the foci. Output power is approximately 70 watt and the nature of the output is pulsed or continuous and the wavelength emitted is 1.064 micrometer which is in IR radiation. I hope this information is useful for, for all of you and in the next lecture we will study the gas lasers and the first we will discuss helium neon laser in the next lecture. Thank you.